How can three resistors of resistances 2 ohm, 3 ohm and 6 ohm be connected to give a total resistance of 4 ohm and 1 ohm? Let us take the given resistors. R1 is equals to 2 ohms, R2 equals to 3 ohms and R3 is 6 ohms. These are the given resistors. By using these three resistors, we have to get the total resistance 4 ohm and 1 ohm. When we connect the given three resistors are in series combination, then equivalent resistance becomes to sum of the resistances of the three resistors R1 plus R2 plus R3. 2 plus 3 plus 6 ohms that is equals to 11 ohms. So when we connect the given three resistors are in series, total resistance is 11 ohms. But here we want 4 ohms. So use the connection other than series. That means both series and parallel. Take the first resistor 2 ohms and second and third resistors. These two are connected in parallel. R2 3 ohms. Here R3 is 6 ohms. Second and third resistors are connected in parallel and the first resistor is in series combination with the remaining two resistors. These two are in parallel combination. Equivalent resistance is equals to R2 into R3 by R2 plus R3. 3 into 6 by 3 plus 6. 18 by 9. 9 1s, 9 twos. 2 ohms. Redraw the circuit diagram. First one is 2 ohms and this is 2 ohms. Now these two are in series connection. So total equivalent resistance is equals to R1 plus Rp. 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 ohms. So required resistance is 4 ohms. So this is first question answer. And second, we want 1 ohm resistance. 1 ohm is less than the resistance of each resistor. So connect the given three resistors are in parallel. R1, R2 and R3, these three are connected in parallel. Then reciprocal of the equivalent resistance is equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. Here LCM is 6. 2 3s, 3 2s and 6 ones. 6 by 6 is equals to 1 ohm. 1 by R is equals to 1 ohm and also R is equals to 1 ohm. Total resistance when three resistors are connected in parallel is 1 ohm.